Good morning. Uh, thank you all for being here, for uh, not going too hard last night. I appreciate your attention. Uh, again, my, my name is Josh Rabinowitz, co-founder and CEO of Articulate Labs. And our company is developing wearable devices to help make physical rehabilitation faster and more convenient. Uh, the development of this technology didn't start necessarily in a hospital or in a lab. Really, it started here with an engineer who lost his right leg in a motorcycle accident and quickly wore down the cartilage in the knee of the remaining leg. Uh, told that he needed to rehabilitate that knee in order for him to be able to uh, retain mobility, uh, he had to exhaust all the conservative options available to him also because he was too young for knee replacement. What he found was to be, to be most effective was physical therapy, focusing sp uh, primarily on strengthening the quadricep muscles, the thigh muscles around the, around the knee. What he, what he ran into in terms of, or what he found, what we've seen also in research is that the better the shape of those muscles, the better the shape of the knee, the better the uh, mobility for the user. However, very few are able to get all the physical therapy or all the rehabilitation that they require. Lack of want to is not necessarily the issue. Uh, time, uh, distance, cost, all conspire to stop people from getting all the rehabilitation that they require uh, in order to restore mobility. So the other side of this, uh, this process is that when people are not uh, re sufficiently rehabilitating, when they are remaining weak, there's less, uh, less support for the joint, more pressure uh, during, uh, during movement, more pain, which leads people to tend to be less active and to have more atrophy, and so on and so forth. Uh, this does actually come with a cost to it. Uh, we see about $3 billion that, that's related to just the, the in population that's not getting sufficient rehabilitation. This, uh, the numbers that you're seeing here are actually uh, age, and, uh, age and gender matched, uh, or from a study that was uh, isolating for age and gender. So it's not just the existence of, of comorbidities. There is a real cost to not getting people to the therapy. So our thought is maybe we can help bring the therapy to them. We've done this with a device that we're calling Neestim. We're taking a technology that's been used in the physical therapy clinic, something called neuromuscular electrical stimulation, and improving it with the integration of motion tracking hardware, machine learning, and our own joint modeling system. This enables the uh, application of muscle stimulation in time with gait, in time with expected muscle use, helping turn everyday activity into on-the-go muscle strengthening and conditioning activity. Uh, as I mentioned, NMES has been around for some time. It's been proven to be effective for strengthening re-education, uh, for, uh, for use in increasing uh, knee range of motion and in increasing local blood circulation. The challenge with what you see is kind of the, the typical, typical example of NMES is it's difficult to use while mobile. It's, not, uh, it's operating on pre-programmed stimulation sequences that will not line up with your movement unless you're going through very basic exercises, and that the stimulation itself, the, the feeling of having a muscle contract without your, uh, without your consent, as it were, uh, is highly uncomfortable. In addition to making this, uh, making this mobile and adaptive, the same uh, IMUs that we're using above and below the knee to drive stimulation timing and location can also be used to collect compliance and kin uh, kinematics data that can be used to show uh, compliance and progress for the user. This is uh, information that can be provided back to the patient and provider uh, to help uh, assess where the, where the patient is and help the, uh, help the provider with uh, tracking and with reimbursement. For the patient, we see this providing, excuse me, uh, more, uh, better rehab in less time, uh, more com in a more comfortable way, in a more convenient way. And doing so in a way that's more cost effective uh, and, and more, uh, providing more features to end users and to providers than what's currently on the market. Uh, as I mentioned, for, for providers being able to, uh, pr excuse me, being able to assist uh, their patients more, uh, more expeditiously, either to uh, focus on more one-on-one uh, -on -one direct manual therapy or being able to see more patients in, in the same period of time appears to be of value to them. Uh, we do have a small team, but a team that's been passionate about this work since day one that we're working uh, with to take this to market. Uh, three full-time members uh, with a uh, fair amount of background in engineering, medical device development, uh, buoyed by a number of uh, advisors as well as, uh, as well as investors who are bringing their own contributions uh, in the process of bringing this device to market. We're also working with physicians uh, who we've met by and large through our participation in the TMCX Accelerator uh, out, uh, out in Houston, Texas. These are uh, orthopedic surgeons and physiatrists who are 
uh, working with us on developing protocols, uh, gathering additional data, and helping us uh, figure out how best to enter the market. Uh, mentioned we, uh, TMCX, we've also been through the Health Wildcatters and the Tampa Bay Wave Accelerators. Uh, we have relationships with Memorial Hermann, uh, Dell Seton Medical, and Univ University of Texas at Austin. And hope to, uh, we've uh, recently earned this uh, Tech Connect Innovation Award for uh, the applicability of this, of this technology for armed forces. And we're hoping to have something to announce this time next month with both uh, AppWorks and NASA, NASA iTech. We've raised a little over 500K to date. I'll touch on real briefly some of the accomplishments we've, we've had with that money. One of the big ones is getting our own uh, intellectual property. We have uh, four patents granted that we, that we own, uh, in, uh, four patents in the US, one just granted uh, internationally, uh, extending this technology uh, not just to the knee but to other joints and conditions. The idea that this is a, ultimately a platform that we want to be able to apply to other, uh, other areas uh, as a means to uh, assist with uh, rehabilitation in other, in other markets and other joints. We have proof of concept data that we've collected showing a high level of accuracy and stimulation timing and location with individuals who are likely end users. This, we ran this at the University of Texas at Austin and presented this as part of the uh, Launchpad competition for, uh, or as a finalist in Launchpad uh, for cutting edge uh, rehab tech with the American College of Rehabilitation Medicine. We've done some uh, product, uh, product market research, uh, working with uh, physiatrists, orthopedic surgeons, and rheumatologists. The uh, vast majority are highly interested or highly interested and want to prescribe to between 40 to 50% of their conservative pre-op and post-op patients. We also have, uh, we're on our way to 510K clearance. We anticipate submitting our application in April and earning clearance this fall. Uh, one last point is we have done reimbursement landscape analysis and have found uh, both uh, rental codes and codes within the clinic that are applicable to this technology, uh, both as a, as a therapy and as a means of providing data feedback to the, uh, to the patients and providers, uh, similar to what the panelists were talking about earlier. Uh, as I mentioned, we're on track to launch later this year. Uh, this is what you're seeing uh, detailed right now is the remaining, uh, remaining regulatory efforts, the kickoff of our validation study at Dell Seton, and the, and the process of building up sales and marketing as we wait for that clearance. Uh, when we do clear, we intend to focus initially on the knee replacement market, 700,000 people getting their knees replaced every year. Uh, that's a, a population that's, in gro that's growing as the population ages and gets heavier. Uh, not only is it the place where we're seeing the most expense, as we uh, noted in an earlier slide, but it's also where there's the biggest strength and activation gains or a activation deficits uh, to readily address. Our, our, uh, excuse me. Uh, our focus uh, when we launch is to uh, start where we are currently in Dallas, Texas, uh, working, with, uh, working with smaller groups uh, of physiatrists, uh, rheumatologists, and orthopedic surgeons to sell to their, uh, sell to their clinics and offer, have them uh, rent or sell out those devices to their end users. Uh, to date, we've been, ra we've been in the process of raising 750000 to get through the process of regulatory clearance. This, uh, this amount gets us to kick off our larger validation study, uh, gets, us, uh, gets us all the way through 510K, and gets us an inventory to have an available for initial sales and prescriptions. Uh, based on that, on a, on a smaller, uh, smaller raise and a smaller rollout, uh, we would be targeting 10 million in revenue uh, in five years, uh, being able to uh, sell to uh, physicians, sell to uh, physiatrists, and have them uh, offer these devices on a rental basis to their patients. Uh, assuming that this is a, a, a fit with any venture capitalist or any, uh, any larger uh, firm, there would be uh, use for additional funding beyond that amount that we would apply towards growing the sales team, uh, expanding the IP, expanding uh, where, we, uh, where we are in terms of uh, our marketing and uh, research, and being able to launch an over-the-counter version of the same technology for use uh, more in, in the sports medicine camp. We think with that, pop, with that type of support, we can uh, scale much, far, much larger, much, much faster, uh, hitting about a little over 30 million in revenue uh, based on a, a, a greater amount of sales. Uh, that's who we are. That's uh, we're, we're where we're standing, looking to make physical rehabilitation faster and more convenient. Uh, we're highly interested in partnering with anyone who's uh, interested in, what we're, in our work, answering any questions that you have. Uh, thank you very much for your time.